conversation about the Constitution. We'll reintroduce ourselves, just to make sure no one's name changed overnight. Uh, and uh, talk some more about, uh, about Unit 4. I'm Joe Stewart, uh, teaching the political science department at Clemson University in South Carolina. Peter Kane, Department of Political Science at the University of Virginia. Morning, Governor Cox, Bernie Powell, Francis. Thank you. 
investigation in an upcoming cover of presidential deception, such as in the Watergate, or utilize fact finding to protect the American people, such as these voter investigations. The power to investigate is essential to maintain balance between the branches, which then leads to a limited government. Throughout history, Congress has had the power to investigate and still uses it today. Thank you. Um, okay, let me briefly summarize what, what I hear is your position and then make sure I haven't mischaracterized it and then I've got a question. As I hear it, you're saying Congress generally hasn't used its power well, but then you can give us several examples of where it has used that power. If I'm not mischaracterizing your position, why hasn't Congress used its power well, or why hasn't it used it better than it has? Congress has used its power well because it's very reluctant, reluctant to conduct economic investigations, especially in the Senate, where previously the House of Representatives has conducted many more investigations. Senator Diane Feinstein accused the CIA of spying on the Senate um, committee to of investigations when they're investigating the torture that um, sells that George W. Bush has put. However, it is believed that the Senate acquired information from the CIA illegally, so it is under investigation right now that to decide whether the Senate did acquire this information illegally. So the fact that they have might be the fact that they may have illegally acquired information proves that they have not. So Congress is only using its investigative power well when the Senate is involved in it, or, or not? Because I mean, I see like this dichotomy here, right? I just want to put what you're saying as well too. I mean. Because you list these examples, you list how they help the people, but then you also say the Congress doesn't use this power, using this investigative power well. So again, I'm confused as to what your position is. There are several examples about how Congress has used its power well, but I believe that overall Congress hasn't used its uh, power to investigate well. Since uh, investigations are an implied congressional power uh, and not directly stated in the Constitution, in the early days of the Constitution, the Senate would have, would be uh, very reluctant to uh, use its power to investigate and would always defer to the House of Representatives to investigate as the Senate believed that the House of Representatives had more power to investigate and... Uh, okay, all right, well, of course, you take the position that they haven't used as well, then how should it be used then? How the investigation be used when there's been wrongdoing by the government or of companies that greatly affect the government, which is during the Floyd investigation, the gas pedals on cars that Floyd uh, made will get stuck so is that an example of Congress doing an exact investigation while well, I mean, they they investigated them, that's what you're saying. Yeah, they they're investigating. investigating because they the American people are affected. One of the great powers of uh, congressional investigations is the power to uh, protect the American people, and that's what they're doing in the Toyota investigations. And so many people were affected by uh, Toyota's uh, uh, mistake, then they investigated that, and then that ends up in a uh, massive recall of Toyota vehicles. Well, I understand that. I mean, it, it seems to be like it's like a counterpoint to what you're, what you're alleging. You're saying that you're telling me, you're telling us that Congress doesn't use power well, and I understand that, and so that's an okay position to take. What I'm interested in is what should they be doing that they're not doing? You, you mentioned the Toyota thing, but that's just the situation where they protect the American people and they took action. What areas are you seeing right now where Congress should be acting that are not? Very good, Bill administration. Congress was in a different political party than Mr. Clinton, so the fact that they would constantly investigate um, President Clinton about things such as the Lewinsky scandal, so political parties have a huge fight in investigation, and also another administration where Congress constantly investigated was during the Lincoln administration, where he thought that they were just harassing him <coughs> because they would just keep investigating him. One of the ways that congressional power is not being effectively, like my colleague said, is when there is a, a bipartisan or a partisan motive in the investigations. When, uh, like when uh, Mr. Clinton was being investigated, that was all based on uh, political uh, charge. They were only investigating him on a scandal, not an actual wrongdoing. Although, so like, they have allegations of lying under under oath. That's that's not uh, that's that's not a concern. Yes, it is a concern. I mean, I would just say what you know, what's political, what's not, kind of kind of. I'm sorry, can you rephrase that question? Well, I mean, I'm just saying, if you say if it's only motivated politically, which is kind of what the political perspective would be, wouldn't it? Yes, if the Congress is of the state political 
already at the president, there's going to be many less investigations on the president because we're not scrutinizing him as much as a Congress that is full of members of the opposite party. Um, let me ask another question regarding this. To a certain degree, I think one of you mentioned the fact that um, investigations do impact uh, the public, mm -hmm. and impact the public as a whole, past the future, et cetera. What would you say would be the role that citizens can play in congressional election, or congressional investigations? One of the roles that citizens can play in congressional investigations is that since they elect Congress, they can also uh, talk to their congressman if their congressman is on a select committee that is investigating something. So if they're able to uh, express their views to the congressman, that may influence their investigation. They can also uh, testify during, uh, if they're subpoenaed to testify in front of uh, committee investigations, they're, they're, uh, they testify what their information is, and that may also influence the investigation. Okay.
Yeah, and I, I would, again, echo the, the breadth and depth of what you're doing in the formal presentation. Um, in, in my question, I, I'm wondering whether or not you ought to incorporate that, perhaps in your formal presentation, or more refer to the public interest and the public good, why investigations tend to happen, generally speaking. Uh, but I was very much impressed with your response to the, the question dealing with the role the citizens play. That, that might very well be able to incorporate that and perhaps take away some of the sharpness of the political pitchiness that is going to go into that. That is, you're not going to investigate the party of their president because of the scrutinizing too heavily, et cetera, et cetera. And it comes back to the, you know, who's acts, who's locks, who's getting bored, et cetera, et cetera. And that's always that political fallback. But perhaps the response, so perhaps you could incorporate into your presentation, I mean, the role that investigations play because being influenced by the importance of the citizens' claims, the citizens, the citizens' desire, um, they want safe automobiles, the citizens' desire transparency, the citizens' desire trust and a mutual, mutual trust between their government. And they depend upon those elected leaders from the House and the Senate to be able to engage those investigations. That might, that might sense be a, a way of, of seeing the investigatory power more prominently and maybe more uh, beneficially. But generally speaking, overall, I felt again, it was, uh, you guys know your stuff.